Hello everyone, in this short video I will show you how to log in our Office 365 portal and our Moodle. So first go to our school website www.na.edu. So there are a couple of links to our portal, Office 365 portal. The first one is at the very top of our website, Office 365 portal, here is the link. Or you can go to the students tab and here is the link. Uh, they are both same, so just click one of them. And make sure that you received your account information. If you already signed in, you will see the, your account uh, username here, but not. But if you don't have any uh, username and password yet, please contact our IT. If you go back to our website, go to the Students tab, under the IT services, just scroll down, and here is the email, support at na.edu. Uh, just email them to get your username and password or to reset your password. Also, also, here is the phone number and the office hours and other contact information. So just type in your username here. Don't forget at na.edu, click next. Type in your password and click sign in. Uh, it will ask you, do you want to reduce the number of times you are asked to sign in? So if you check it, you will be automatically logged in next time. If not, uh, you will see the screen again and again. Just click yes. And this is our Office 365 account. We have a lot of apps, Microsoft apps, under Office 365 portal. So the main one is the Outlook, which is our email system. Just click on it. So we will use Outlook. Uh, our Office 365 Outlook for our university correspondence. So please do not use your personal email. So please use this application uh, to send an email to your instructor or your friends, other students. So it has a very simple uh, interface. You have your inbox here, send items, drafts. So if you join the group, like a class or your instructor adds you a uh, group, so you will see the groups here, group emails. The emails in the middle, as you can see, and if you want to send an email, just click new, type in the name of the person. While you are typing, it searches the directory and it finds the person or the department. And then just type in the subject and your email. You can attach you know, files and just click send to send an email. So it's very simple, very straightforward. Uh, so let's go back. What else we have? We have OneDrive. Office Microsoft OneDrive to store to share your files uh, with the instructors or with your classmates. So we have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote and other Microsoft applications here. So these are not full featured desktop versions, these are the web versions but uh, they do the job 99% probably you will not need a desktop version. So in order to log in Moodle, if you don't see your Moodle NAU app here, just click the app launcher at the left upper corner scroll down and see the all apps here again scroll all the way down and you will see Moodle NAU app this is our Moodle app and also if you are a student you will see my NAU app here too so my NAU app uh, is for registering a course adding dropping a course or for your other registration issues but for the Moodle, just click the Moodle and then you will be automatically logged in to the Moodle. So there is no any separate account for Moodle, so everything is under Office 365 account. Moodle dashboard is our main page for the Moodle courses. So you can see all your courses under In Progress tab right here. This is my current course. So let's say it's the very beginning, at the very beginning of the semester and you registered for a course, but the course has not started yet. So you will see all those courses, upcoming courses under the future tab. Under the, just check the future tab to see your upcoming courses, or you can see your previous archived courses here in the past tab. So just go back to in progress and you will see your current course. Uh, you can click on it to see the course content. At the right hand side we have navigation bar, navigation block here. You can see other online users here too. And you can see your activities. At the bottom you will see your calendar. Uh, you will see some due dates, uh, assignment due dates here too. And your other courses. Also we have a menus. Under the my courses you will see your courses too. This is another way to navigate through courses. 
If you click NAU Moodle support, it goes to our Moodle support page, so you can find uh, useful resources there too. So this is uh, the our Moodle dashboard page. So just click the course name to see the course content. So this is the Biology 101 course content, a sample course. So at the very top, you will see the navigation. So you can navigate through Moodle, you can go back to dashboard or your courses. Even if you click on, let's say, announcements, still your course link here. If you want to go back to your course, just click the course name. It will go back to the course page. So this is our navigation bar. If you click the dashboard, it goes back to the dashboard. And then click the course name again. So the Moodle page, we have one single page for everything. Everything is on just one single main page. It's separated week by week. We have weekly blocks. As you can see, this is the first week, second week, third week, and it goes on. At the very top, we have uh, course information, instructor information, and the course syllabus. Just click the course syllabus to download it. Or you can click other links to see or download it. We use Moodle for mainly two reasons, the assignments and discussions. Also, you can see your grades too here. Uh, let's say if you have a discussion, just click the discussion name, discussion link here, and then you will see the instructor's post here at the very top. Just read it. And if you want reply to it, reply to it, just click the reply button here, the reply link, and then type in your message or your post. Hi. This is my first post. Oops. Hi. This is my first post. So when you are done, you can change the formatting here. This is a simple word processing uh, buttons. You can even extend it to see more buttons here for easy formatting. You can attach a file. Attaching a file is actually very easy on Moodle. The easiest way, open your uh, my computer, find your file, and drag and drop. That's it. So just drag and drop, and it will upload the file for you. And then just click post to forum, and you are done. So as you can see, this is my post here. So if you want to reply to any students, uh, any students post, same way, just find the post that you want to reply, and click the reply link. And type in your message here it's in the same way if you have an attachment just attach it and then click post to forum uh, that's it let's go back to course and let's say you had you have an assignment and you want to submit your file click the assignment icon assignment link so you will see the assignment name at the top the description that the instructor posts what he wants to do what he wants you to do actually and then you can see your submission status. If you have any attempt, you will see it in one attempt, two attempt. Your grading status, if instructor already graded, you will see that it's graded or it's waiting for grade. Grading, so due dates, time remaining, last modified, and here is the button. If you, let's say your file is ready to submit, just click add submission. And then again, just find it from your computer, open up your my computer and find your file and just drag and drop. That's it. It's very simple, very easy. And then click save change so you will be uh, uh, you are done. So you upload your file, you can see it here, file submissions. If you don't see it, that means there is a problem either your connection problem or any kind of server problem. So please take a screenshot and send it to us if you are uh, having any issues to upload your submit your file also at the bottom after the grading is done so you can see your grade graded on what time what date and graded by the instructor and your feedback here too so this is the very basic uh, very basic information about the assignment and also if it's a fully online course you will have a webinar then webinar link will be posted on Moodle 2 in the same way, just click the webinar information and you will have a link. Just click the link to join the webinar. Uh, you don't need to uh, log in or buy anything, it's free. Just click the link, 
we are using GoToMeeting app so it will download a program a short program a small program and then it will install it and you are ready to go also you can join it from your phones uh, your smartphones but please use GoToMeeting app not the browser but download the GoToMeeting app and then uh, open it up from your iPhones or your smartphones so let's see you want to see your grades go back to the main page under the navigation you will see the grades link here just click on it and here are my grades I can see all the assignments all the grade items here I can see the grade if it's graded I will see it here my assignment if there is a feedback I can see the feedback here and my course total is here so all the grades will be here under the uh, user report so let's go back what else we have we have a calendar here too also we have activities block so instead of seeing week by week you can just click the assignments here to see all your assignments you can see all the assignments the due dates if you submitted or not your grades uh, as an overall picture also for the other type of uh, coursework you can see them here click the forums for example under the activities block and you will see all the grade items all the uh, forums discussions if you need to submit if you subscribed or uh, the due dates if there is any due or under which week so you can see more information about the forums or if you want to see resources on a one single page just click the resources and you will see all the resources posted by the instructor here too so these are the very basics of the Moodle so if you are a new student uh, you will see uh, another course on my NAU online course orientation so if you are a new student and if you want to take a fully online course you have to complete our online program student orientation and you can see it under my courses on your even on your main page in progress so you can see it here online program student orientation just click on it or under my courses you will see it online program student orientation so you have to finish it in order to register an online course just only for once you have to finish this course and get your certificate at the very bottom as you can see here Moodle certificate and then your registration hold uh, will be removed and you will be able to register to the online courses but first you have to do this one uh, do you have to do this for every single online course or every single semester no this is just for uh, once just do it for once and get your certificate and you are good to go so online program student orientation we show you how to uh, navigate how to uh, add an assignment how to join a discussion webinars and all other stuff related to the Moodle uh, and online uh, courses so it has instead of weekly status it has uh, topic by topic sections just go ahead watch the video and then take the quiz and once you get 80% or more as a grade so you will be able to get your certificate and you are good to go but please allow us at least one business day to remove the online course registration hold after you complete the orientation so it takes time uh, at least one day we need to remove the hold after you complete this online course orientation thank you